to bring fresh air into your RV or stale air and odors out, you've got a variety of different vent choices. Now most RVs come with a standard one or maybe even two vents, sometimes in the bathroom, most often in the bathroom. Uh, once in a while you'll see them in the kitchen or the bedroom area. This is the standard vent that you see right here. It's a single handle vent. It'll open up, allow fresh air in, odors out, but there's no fan in with this one. It's all manual operation. So that would be your basic. Um, this one is an upgrade to that vent. It still has a manual crank here, but it does have a power fan that will um, bring air into or exhaust air out, um, and you, but you have to have a power source up in that area to put this in. Now the third upgrade I've got here, this is an automatic vent. You put it up into the area. Again, you have to have power, but it has switches in here, so I don't have to manually crank it up, um, and I don't have the, the switch on this itself, so I'm going to have to bring this down and put it into a switch plate. The um, thing you have to look for if you're going to upgrade from this model to either one of these two here, I have to have a power source. And if I've got just this, some manufacturers will pre-wire that up there. Um, others won't do it, but they'll put a little raceways in to a light. So look and see if you've got any power around that area. Now the third vent, and the challenge with this one, uh, we're going to talk about that again, is that if I put it up, even if I have power up in the ceiling, I've got to bring that switch somewhere. So I'm going to have to either route a pathway along the sidewall and bring it down to an area that I can get to. Um, it's not real easy to, to put that in if I don't have something pre-wired to get it down in a location. Now some people will put this in the roof and then put the switch right next to it so you can pop it in. The upgrade to this version is the automatic style where you'll have a switch pre-wired into it, but you will also have a rain sensor. And what it does is once you, um, it starts to rain, then it's got a, a film or it's got a sensor built right into the roof dome of that and it will automatically shut for you. Usually has a larger fan, uh, moves a lot more air in those units. The way you can tell if your unit has that is it'll have a small little water drop, a little blue drop in the corner and that'll tell you that it, it does have that sensor will bring it down. So wide variety of different vents available to upgrade, to bring fresh air in and to bring odors out.